K-pop number one. Um, all right, so we're just jumping straight into it. What makes you unforgettable? Um, so the first thing that I got is your beauty. Because before I tapped into your energy, I just got the urge to, like, admire myself. I was just in the mirror like, girl, wait. <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> so people, what makes you unforgettable is your beauty. Uh, you're beautiful. Or you're handsome. Or you are, like, <laughs> you know, when people look at you, they're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's 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 your looks. It's the looks. A plus plus in the looks department, pile number one. Okay. Uh what makes you unforgettable is that people love to admire you. They just mm, they just like love to admire you. Everything about you. Someone here has a, a partner. Someone here has a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. They got, y'all, somebody here got somebody. Yeah, this is just your person. And if you're single, this this is just someone who's admiring you. But yeah, for a lot of you, this is your person. And they just love to admire you. Like they, yeah, mm -hmm. and they just sit there and they look at you and they smile. They're just, so if this is for the people who are in a relationship and your partner just looks at you and they're just like, ah! you know, they just like, mm. you know, all the time. Yeah. This is their energy coming through once again, just admiring you energetically this time. Right. Um, but yeah, people just, what makes you unforgettable is just how beautiful you are. You have a face that like, I feel like people don't forget. And your smile is stunning. People love to see you smile. People love to make you smile. Um, people love to look at you. It's just looking, 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 looking everywhere. Okay? And if you feel like when you go out, pile number one, people aren't looking at you. Or maybe you just not, you're not catching it. You know? you just not catching it. Because people are like admiring you. They're like, ooh. Yeah, okay. So what makes you unforgettable is um, you have... You are so confident. I'm hearing you demand your respect. You demand it. And not necessarily in a way where you are just walking in like, y'all better respect me in this bitch. No, and maybe, maybe some of y'all are. <laughs> but um, you demand your respect. Okay, pile number one. And this is also what makes you very unforgettable. So people, when people meet you, this is someone new that's in your life or people in general, when they meet you, they don't ever forget you. They don't ever forget your name. They don't ever forget you. They cannot ever forget you because you you have a big impact on people. Yeah, you have a pretty big impact on people. Whether this is just in passing at a store and they saw you and they're like, man, that person was gorgeous or he was fine or he was just Oh my gosh, you know, they don't forget you. And they may get back in their car and be like, damn, you know, or if this is people that you are meeting, they still got that same reaction with you when it comes to your looks. They're like, pile number two or pile number one is, mm. but now, you know, these people have actually met you. So it's something to do with your personality here. You are one to show your true colors. Like you show people who you are up front and of course maybe not everything you're not telling your whole life story when you meet these people but you know people can date back to the day that they met you and how they it's not a thing of like they didn't know what they were getting themselves into you know when they met you they're like you're still that same person that I met when I met you you know and a lot of people do that they're like they'll they'll go back to the day or think about the day that they met you and um, compare it to the person that they know now. And they're like, yeah, that's pile number one. That's pile number one. Um, a lot of people think about you too, pile number one. And that's another thing that makes you unforgettable because you are not being forgotten because people are thinking about you, you know? Um, 
people yeah a lot of people just think about you something about true true trueness true colors true true to form true feelings uh you're true you're someone who's very true you know tried and true just true okay damn true you true um yeah What else makes you unforgettable, pile number one, is this gentle nature that you have with people, even in the roughest of situations, right? You choose to stay gentle. You choose to stay kind. Maybe, I don't know, kind is giving me like, eh, maybe not kind all the time. It depends, right? But I feel like an energy here where you true, you ch true, look, true wants to come through. Anyways, you choose um your demeanor you choose to stay in a certain demeanor and you don't move from this demeanor right i think that you are someone who's very protective of their energy um mm -hmm. you're someone who's very very protective of their energy and people feel that from you they feel that from you and whether this is people where you are wanting to share your energy with or people that you choose not to they see that within you and they see how you stand on that. And that makes you unforgettable to them because they've never seen anybody, I heard, truly treat their energy like currency, you know? And I feel like you hear that or be protective of your energy or you hear things all the time about energy and how you need to um, be protective of it, you know? And people talk about it all the time. Listen, you hear it everywhere, but it's like you really display that shit like you you really display it you really you practice what you preach pile number one you are if you're someone who speaks on energy a lot if you're someone who knows a lot about energy right um you truly practice what you preach and even in a way where it's not in that other person's favor right they still see damn like it's true it's true you you're true you're true to what you say you know um and this makes people respect you they respect your energy they want to respect your energy right because they don't have a choice but to <laughs> they you left them with no choice but to respect your energy um yeah hmm and this is what makes you unforgettable People will never forget the time that they had with you, the conversations that they had with you, the um, knowledge that you uh, put them on to, right? People will never forget you for this. They will never forget you for this. Um, and they, ha they have a lot of respect for you. And I'm hearing someone say, you know, if I never, if, I, if, if me and pal number one never, I'm hearing see eye to eye or rekindle or anything like that, um, I really respect them. And I can't, I'm here, I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. So, yeah, pile number one, this is what makes you truly, true, 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 truly unforgettable, okay? So that's what I got for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I love you guys on a soul level. Peace. Okay, pile number two, we're just gonna jump straight in. What makes you unforgettable is, <laughs> you got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. Okay. Okay. I'm hearing intimidation factor. All right, pile number two. People think that you're intimidating. Okay, now listen. Are you intimidating or are they intimidated? You know, I feel like, yeah. So what makes you unforgettable is the fact that you spark intimidation within people, pile number two. You do, you do, you do, you do, you do. Um, and that's just you simply being yourself, right? So there's nothing that you need to change. And I think that that's 
something that needs to be said for people who are told that they're intimidating, you know, are you being yourself and they're just intimidated? You know, I think that that's what it is. And I feel like when it's being said in a way where, you know, you're intimidating, um, it's, it's has a connotation that you need to change something and that ain't the case, right? Unless you want to change something. It's all up to you. Don't let anyone else's projections of you make you want to change yourself because when you get in that space then we're not being ourselves we're not being our true authentic selves we're being a, dili a, d a diluted version so that this person won't think that you're intimidating you feel me so uh please take that but yeah um what makes you unforgettable is that people know not to fuck with you um people want to stay on your happy side <laughs> people people want to move slow with you People want to be thorough with you. People see that you are someone who's very thorough. You are someone who does things that make sense. I'm really picking up on earth signs here. Um, and when I said earth signs, I want to say Aries. I guess you could be an Aries, um, but Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I'm also really heavily picking up on Taurus. So yeah, all of them. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, people, they want to stay on your good side. They don't want to make you upset. Um, yeah, this is what makes you unforgettable, pile number two. It's like, don't cross, don't cross pile number two. Keep it cute, keep it simple, keep it true, keep it authentic with pile number two. And just keep it real with pile number two. I feel like, yeah, people just say, and these are people that actually know you, right? People just say, just keep it real with pile number two. That's all you really got to do. It's not... It's not, they're not trying to be intimidating, intimidating. They're not trying to scare you. They're not trying to do anything. They're just being themselves. But it's like they are very keen to energy. They're very keen to people. And they can tell when people are moving a little weird, you know? And they, pile number two, this is someone speaking on you. They can tell uh, people's true intentions, right? So if they feel something off with your intentions, that's when you're going to see a different side. That's when you're going to see a different side come out of pile number two. Now, I don't know. Take this, apply this to whatever situation this is. So this could be on a grand scale. This could be on a small scale. But it's like you 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 see things within people and it makes you want to move a little differently with certain people. And now I'm not necessarily picking up on an argument. Maybe there was, but it's just like a, I see you now. You know, it's not like a, I hate that person and that's such a strong word but it's just I see that person now you know and that's you that's you pile number two you are someone who you see people on a really really deep level and um you move with what you saw okay and so if you see something that you know that doesn't vibe with me or that seems like a red ass flag you know then you are not the type to keep pushing to see are there any more red flags over there because in your mind you're like absolutely there are you know like there are there are more red flags because i saw that one and that don't vibe with me you know so you move a different way and i don't get an energy where you you really speak on this i don't get an energy where you are just outright rude or mean to people you just move with intention at all times and so since you move with so much intention at all times you can see where your energy just isn't needed or you can see where your energy would not be safe or you can see where your energy just would not gel you know and so when you feel that way with a person you don't try to make it work. You don't try to hold on to it. You don't try to double, triple check to see if this isn't for me, you know? You're just like, and I think this has come after a lot of trial and error, right? Pile number two, because you don't get these types of skills of uh, reading people's energy or seeing people in that way and being able to clearly make a decision and move the other direction without experience you know you don't you don't get to that point um without experience and things so i feel like you may be someone who 
uh, before you would see red flags or you would see things within people and you would just keep going because you would feel like, you know, eventually, you know, that's not really a red flag. Maybe this person is like this because of this, because of that, because of that. You give people, you would give people the benefit of the doubt a lot. And you're learning that mm, keep giving people the benefit of the doubt too much um, will then start to chip away at your own energy, right? Because now you're allowing something that because you're giving them the benefit, you're giving them the benefit of the doubt. So now you're just allowing something over and over, and it's like, okay, well this is chipping away at me now, you know. So I really feel like this has come with a lot of. Um, experience you know it's it's come with a lot of experience you have a lot of experience pile number two and so the people on the receiving end of um you moving away from them uh are kind of sent in their mind a bit because they're like well what did i do or what why don't they like me or why do they not like me what they don't like me so, you know um and that wasn't the case. It's not that you don't like a person. It's just you, you, you got experience. Okay. You've got experience, um, in different signs and different, you see signs and people and you see people, this is what it is. You, you meet new people, but you see old spirits that you've dealt with and new people. And you're like, no, <laughs> no, absolutely. No. You know, and so you move, you go on here, you go on here, you go this way, you know? And that's what I'm getting from you, pile number two. This is what makes you unforgettable because I think that the people that are seeing you as unforgettable are the people that you um, are just moving in a different direction from. So they see you as being intimidating. They definitely will never forget you. Um, and yeah. Let's get one last card <clears throat> from my pile number twos. I feel like I've been talking fast today. I don't know. What makes my pile number twos unforgettable? This confidence. You're so confident in yourself. People really wonder, like, how did you get there? Again, with this experience, pile number two, you have a lot of experience when it comes to people. Um, and you know how to exert boundaries. This isn't like an imaginary thing for you, you know? And I'm hearing that that way because people talk about boundaries all the time, you know? And people say that they have them, you know? Um, until they actually see someone who really does. And they're like, oh, oh, that's boundaries. Oh, you know? And this is what makes you unforgettable. You teach people. You teach people indirectly how they should have their boundaries up. And I said this in the la one of my last readings. I think it was the last one that I did. Why do they find you seductive? Um, you teach people new standards. Pile number three. So if that was your pile, this may be your pile too. But um, you, you teach people new standards when they move forward now. Um, because they were on the receiving end of boundaries, right? And you teach them how to insert those boundaries in their own life so that they can, I'm telling you, life within your boundaries is a good life. Life within your boundaries is a life that you are cultivating. It's a life that you make the rules for. This You're the main character, pile number two, okay? Listen, and I feel like you already know this, but maybe some of you in this pile are, are really just getting into really setting your boundaries. You're the main character. They're not the main character in your life. So if somebody's coming in your life and they, it's, it's a little too much, the energy a little too strong, you're feeling a little shaky, you're feeling like something ain't right, you have every right to remove yourself from that, okay? So that's boundaries. Life within your boundaries is a good life because you call the shots. You're the main character. You can choose who you want in your life. You can you can choose to wait, wait it out and see who a person is and be like, no, no. And it's not because you dislike someone, you know, it's just because 
that doesn't gel with what I have going on in my life and I can choose that, you know? And I think that you really have helped someone, someone here, you've helped someone with what true boundaries are. Someone here appreciates your groundedness. This may be an air sign that I'm speaking on. Someone here appreciates how you ground things, how you take ideas and you put them into your real life. It's not just an idea with you. It's how you live your life. Um, and this is what's making you unforgettable to this person. Okay, let's see what this is. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, clarify this Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Clear for this ace of wands. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, 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 right. I knew what I was, I knew what I was feeling. I be knowing what I'm feeling, but you know, sometimes I want to double check with spirit, like, hey, before I say this, is this what you're talking about? They be like, yeah, girl. So, um, whoever this person is that you, you've uh, set some sort of boundary with, they are admiring you they love you for you taught them so much uh this person really wants to work for your respect they have so much respect for you but they're like you know what you taught me so much i want to and it's not just about you but this person is like i want to work for their respect like the, i i i want them to see me a certain way right truly and not because I'm projecting this image of being this way. It's because I'm truly this way. So you've really, there's someone around you where you've really, um, I, you obviously have inserted some sort of boundaries with, but this person is very inspired by this. And they now want to show up in the world in a way that's similar to you where they live within their own boundaries. And they're, this person here is really trying to... Um, make themselves the main character right they're really trying to figure out what is it that i want to see in my life and what is it that i will not accept in my life right and you have to make they're like they're trying to make it make a make it clear or i'm seeing someone journal you know there's someone's like what do i want in my life what will i not accept right what will i not fucking accept so that i won't accept that shit okay Someone here is really trying to get into their their boundaries bag, okay? They like that. They like how you did it. You inspired them um, a lot. And um, this person may now have a crush on you. I'm not even going to hold you. This person may have a crush on you. This person, this person may have always had a crush on you. Um, but then they, they, they did something or maybe they crossed a line with you or maybe they... Maybe they, yeah, they did something obviously where you felt like you had to insert boundaries with them. And um, this took this person on a journey of feelings all to bring them back to this same crush <laughs> that they've had on you this whole time. But now it's at a new level because they have so much respect for you. You have the emperor here. Can you see that? Yes. You got the emperor here. Um, and this is the, this is the energy that this person is now in because they see that you are in that energy. They see that you know how to carry yourself. They see this within you. Um, and this person really looks up to you, pal number two. This person, really, they may be younger than you. Yeah, this person may be younger than you. This person may, may be in high demand. I don't know. But this person may be younger than you. But this person looks up to you so much. And they're so grateful for you. Um, yes. Yeah. This person is wanting to operate in more of a true, and uh, I forget that it was this reading or the other one I just did, but they're wanting to operate in a more true lens or in a, in a truer, truer way. No more facades, no more illusions. This is who I am. Yeah, that's that's what this person is saying. No more facades, no more illusions. This is who I am. I don't want to have to show up differently. I want to be the same all the time. Okay? And that's what they feel about you. They feel like that's what you are. You are real. You're authentic. You're the same all the time. Very consistent. Okay? And 
and um this is what makes you unforgettable i feel like i could speak about you all day long and i feel like this person feels that same way too i think this person does talk about you all day long to whoever they're around and they talk about just how true you are and just how authentic you are and just how they really look up to you and how they want to be around you and how they just really want you this person really really wants you to see them in a way uh, that they in the way that they see you right and this is what's fueling this person to be truer okay so that's what i got for you so please like comment and subscribe to the channel i love you guys so much on a soul level peace hey pal number three all right we're jumping straight into this reading um what makes you unforgettable uh somebody here is in enamored with you they're enamored um you definitely can resonate with pal number one this is already given those vibes so if you did not watch that go back watch that one because it's gonna resonate because i'm already feeling it but somebody here is enamored with you somebody here loves the way that you communicate somebody here loves the way that you talk um again um they love how your mouth moves when you talk i said this in another reading so it's that same energy okay they like they looking at your mouth they're like <laughs> yeah uh what makes you unforgettable pile number three is that they don't want you to be a memory. They don't want you to, to be unforgettable because they wanna roll over and see you in their bed every day. <laughs> this person's like, no, I know unforgettable nothing. Yeah, you're not gonna be forgettable because I'm gonna see you every day because I wanna marry you. Listen, we got the four of wands here. This person's like, mm-hmm this the one for me this is the one for me um this is someone here who i'm hearing they want to mate <laughs> they want to mate with you they want to have your children or they want you to they want to marry you they want to be with you in this lifetime and listen they're like and the one after this, this person's like, this is my person. Okay, now, and um, I want to be with them. But even after this lifetime is done for us, I call dibs on the next one, on the next lifetime. That's my person, okay? I call dibs on pile number three in every lifetime, okay? <laughs> That's cute. I think this may be... a. a this may be um past life connection possibly it's giving that um mm -hmm. or this is someone who feels like you are their their past a uh, past life they, they have had a past life connection with you and they're coming to terms that we've done this before listen in another lifetime you were mine it's like they're like i know it now i remember now i see it now maybe maybe roles were flipped and you were the man and they were the woman or vice versa or i don't know maybe both y'all were men maybe both y'all were women listen who knows right who really knows but this person's like we've done this before i get it we've done this before we got to do this again that's why we're here <laughs> Yeah, this person's like, that's why we're here. You got the high priestess at the bottom of the day. You got the wheel of fortune. Listen, we've done this before. You can't see that. There you go. Bam. We've done this. So that means we got to do it again. I got to go and get them. What am I thinking? I'm late. I'm late to the game. We should have already been married, actually. We should have been married. We should have been married. So I got to go over there. We've wasted so much time. This person's like, we've wasted so much time. Look, I'm this age. You're this age. We should have been together. We should already have two kids. It's like everything is coming back to this person. I don't know. Yeah, this person's like getting downloads. This person's getting downloads about you. They're like, oh, we're meant to be together. It's something about we've wasted so much time. Let me go and get them. What am I thinking? I'm seeing somebody like put on their clothes. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> yeah okay yeah so what makes you unforgettable is that you do, they don't want you to be in a space where you would even be unforgettable because you're right there 
um, veil, lifting the veil. Somebody want to get married. Mm -hmm. They're trying to lift your veil, whichever, whoever, whatever way that goes, right, for you. Uh, they're trying to lift it up. And there you are. May I kiss the bride? You know, like, this is the time that they're on, pile number three. Um, this person could never forget about you. Yeah. Okay, what makes them pile number... They ain't scared no more. Somebody ain't scared. Somebody's coming towards you. Somebody is coming towards you, pile number three. They're not scared. They're not, they're not thinking about it anymore. They're like, okay... And this could be in the future, right? Because if this is the energy, um, then they would be here. So if this is someone that's not in your face, like, he, <laughs> I wanted to say, I get it now, you know? I don't know. If this is someone that's not in your vicinity right now, they're on the way to you, or they're going to be having this realization very soon, like, oh, no, you're not about to leave. You're not about to walk away from me. You're not about to just walk away from me. Because we're meant to be together. Why don't why don't you know? This person like, how I know and you don't know. But they're like, that's okay. I'm gonna let them know. <laughs> so yeah. What makes you unforgettable is um listen, this one person, it's one person that's taking over this reading for you. Um what makes you unforgettable is the fact that they know that you're the one that's for them okay all right we're gonna we're gonna put this we're gonna put that energy to the side real quick so i can get you a message on what other people feel like why why you're unforgettable why why do people feel like my pile number threes are unforgettable okay so this is at work um that people feel like you are unforgettable um in the workplace because you put a lot of time and effort into the work that you do people really trust and value what you say they know that what you, the work that you put in is thorough so if there's something that's missed at work and it it's it, you missed it people can track back or track your work back to see what happened there because you're always so tried and true. You know, you're always so on top of things. So if there's ever a moment that you slip up or something like that, people know that, oh, well maybe, okay, she's they didn't do this yet because the way that they usually do it is that they'll call the person, they'll do this and then they'll do that. So if that isn't done yet, that means that they didn't do that. You know, you're very thorough and this is what makes you unforgettable in the workplace because you're very treasured and valued there. People really love that they can um, look at your work. There's something about going back and being able to look at your work and being able to pinpoint things with you because you're, you, you're very consistent. And so you're unforgettable in that sense because um, I guess most people at this job, at this place, at wherever, they're not as consistent as you are. Um, so this could be a job that you just left or maybe a job that you're about to leave or something like that, something, something like that. Um, and this place is like, or this job is like, how are we going to replace pile number three? How are we ever going to replace them? Because nobody else worked how they worked. They're so thorough. They're so good at their job. They're, they're this, they're that. A lot of compliments going around about you. And this is what makes you unforgettable. Um, let's get another card. What makes them pile number three is unforgettable? I'm not taking those. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, you may be leaving. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, you going somewhere? You going on vacation? You may be traveling. You may be somebody. Oh, is this person? Listen, it's this person. They're back. They came back. <laughs> Somebody's trying to take you somewhere okay they're trying to they're trying to take you they listen i remember they said they remember now they remember the other lives that y'all had together so they're like i'm coming to get you i'm coming to get you so you may be leaving a job and you may be going somewhere else soon this isn't for all of you pile number three this may be in the future Somebody's coming to get what they supposed to have got before. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tell me how this resonates for y'all, okay? 
because when I tell you I am a true energy reader, I'm just reading it, okay? Sometimes y'all got to put the pieces together because in my mind, I'm like, what? But somebody is this person I was reading. This this person that's like, yeah, you're my person. I know this now. I know this to be true. They're coming to get you because y'all supposed to have been married and had two kids, right? Um... And then there's your job over here and it's something about you being unforgettable to them so you may be leaving this job this person is coming to get you or this person <laughs> what this person's coming to get you this may be someone at a distance from you and they're coming to get you this is someone who's packing pack all your stuff child what where are you going file number three you do you know about this you know you leave it? I feel like y'all don't know. Y'all don't know that this person's like, I'm coming to get you. This may be, I don't know who this is. This is someone that you know, though. And they're coming to get you. And they're, you guys may be moving somewhere else. You may be moving to a different town. You may be moving somewhere where you may be leaving this job. Because this job is now finding you. They did unforgettable in a way. Hmm. Okay. So this is why people find you to be unforgettable. Pile number three. This was an interesting reading. So this one, you're going to have to take the bits and pieces that resonate for you um, and leave the little bits and pieces that do not. Don't try to make nothing fit. Listen, don't be just packing up your bags either. Okay wait till it happened if it happened okay but that's energy that's what i got for you i love you guys so much on a soul level peace